Hi, Saika Nikki here. Welcome to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Mary Kay foundation. This is the Time Wise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation combination to oily skin. It has a buildable coverage, suitable for sensitive skin, oil-free, non-comedogenic. So it says here, as the product claims, this is a matte finish oil controlling foundation formulated to fight the signs of aging with a patented blend of collagen, building peptides, and vitamin E, an antioxidant that helps protect the skin against environmental stressors visibly reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and imperfections for a perfectly flawless skin. So it says here for the direction, smooth on foundation for a perfectly flawless matte finish. This one shoe, I got it on sale and it cost, I think they have only one size packaging and it contains 29 ml. The shade that I got is beige 2. It smells like soju, <laughs> a Korean alcoholic drinks. I will be applying this on this side of my face first and I will be using this flat kabuki brush from Sigma to apply the foundation on my face and just a little background I have a very oily face and I didn't apply any primer prior to applying this foundation so that I will be able to test the longevity of the product and hoping that it can prevent the oiliness of my face as well. As you can see, the foundation that I got doesn't match my skin tone, but I love the finish. It dries up quickly, so you need to blend. You need to blend it faster. This is just the first coat of the foundation. The amount that I placed on my hands covers half of my face. The product itself is actually a matte finish, and the finish is so soft and smooth. It's very lightweight on my face, and I love the result. So I will be finishing everything, and I'll get back to you. So I just finished putting on the foundation onto my face, so this is the result. It feels that my skin tightens and it feels very lightweight. For the record, this is the first coat. I didn't apply a second coat because I was satisfied already with the first coat. It, it blurred my blemishes in here, as you can see. It is not under on my skin tone, but I love it. I love foundation which is a little bit whiter on my skin because uh, the foundation, if ever I'm going to place it on my skin, it oxidizes and it will blend well on my skin. So far, I'm loving it and it's already 12, 10 noon so let's see i'm going to finish everything on my face just to be fair i'm going to set this with the initial setting powder i'm going to finish everything on my face and i'll get back to you okay so this is the final look that i have of my face i hope that this foundation will last long i already told you that i set my whole face with a nichido setting powder to be fair i always set all the foundation review with that setting powder because i love it so we're going to test the um, flash photography i don't know if this foundation has an spf it didn't it doesn't say anything about spf on the foundation packaging Wow, I tried the flash photography and I'm loving the results. So no whiteness on our face, no ghost picture. This is super good. If ever you're going to attend party and you know there are flashes everywhere, especially on prom, prom night, disco night. So you will not be worried in the flash photography anymore. I'm going to update to you after maybe four hours. Let's check if my face will oil up, if my face will stay fresh as it is. So for the record, my face is super fresh right now. I don't know. It feels super fresh, hydrated. I didn't apply any primer. I already told you. Okay, I'll get back to you. Bye-bye. This is my first update. It's 2.46 p.m. As you can see, this part here is already oily. Not too oily, but oils are already visible. So. So far, the foundation is still okay on my face. Yeah, it's still fresh. Only this part here. So I'll be updating more of this later. It's time for another update. It's 3.58. So we'll be going to uh, have some groceries. So I will be back. So there's no big changes at all. It's still oily here in my face. I did not retouch at all. I'm not planning to retouch at all. I'm not going to powder. But just a quick update. This part here, the foundation is starting to crack. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can relate with me. No. Just in this part. The rest is still okay. But here it's super oily. Right now it's super hot here in the Philippines. So I totally understand. So I'm going to update you with another update if this foundation will really last long. Hi guys. So I'm back. It's already 9 p.m. I don't know if you can see it. It's already 9 p.m. on my watch. As you can see, my face is super oily right now. And I think this is the last stop. I didn't retouch, I didn't put any powder on my face. 
because my face is so oily, that's the advantage of having an oily face because the more the foundation um, will be on your skin, the more it will melt and it will make your skin smooth. I don't know. It's really the advantage of having an oily skin. But um, if your face is super oily, I always recommend this that you can always use a tissue to pat on to get rid of the excess oil on your face or you can use like this a sponge I don't have a tissue right now in my filming room so I'm going to use this sponge to get rid of the oils earlier there are small patches on this area but right now because my face is super oily I believe it ma it helps the product absorb more on my skin and it helps the product to blend the product didn't transfer that much I don't know if you can see this one no more foundation on this part the tip of my nose but so far on the rest of my face it's still okay the thing that I noticed is that the more the foundation stays on my face the more it looks beautiful and flawless on my skin I have no problem on the flash photography and it blends well on my skin the only problem is my face because I'm on the oily side yes I agree it's a matte finish it's really good in your skin it feels so light the foundation feels so light on my skin and the time that I put it on in my face my I don't know my face feels super fresh it's just my opinion though so that's it guys thank you so much I hope this video will help you to decide if you're planning to buy this Mary Kay foundation so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video please give this video a thumbs up and share this to your friends and leave your comments down below don't forget to subscribe peace God bless